Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to work with text box and button. Like how to work with the standard controls that we normally use on our you know, screens like we have text boxes and buttons. So here I am going to take two text boxes and uh, you know I will pass some integers and on button click I want to you know, perform addition then display the result on uh, the message box or you can say the alert that we have seen in the last video so a simple you know app i'm going to develop just we need to see how to read the values from the controls and how to perform operations on button click event or you know how to track the events so i have just started you know android android application and i'll say okay now i get the screen i'll go to resources layout and the main screen and i'll just remove the button that we have i'll say save here i'm going to introduce one more window that is nothing but toolbox so those who have been using visual studio for windows or web app they are familiar with this so we have a toolbox where you have all the controls so if we lose this toolbox you can get it from view toolbox now from this toolbox i'll go for text fields and from this i'll select plain text plain text is nothing but a text box i'll drag and drop it here and i will name it as edit text num1 in the same way I will take another text box and I will name it as edit text num2 finally I will take a button button I can get it from form widgets and I want to display the result on a label so label here is nothing but your text large medium small or text view can be anything so I'll take text view I want to display message on text view so I'll say text view result I want to display on text view as well as on the alert now let me set the ID of button that is nothing but btn add and the text of the button I can double click here and I can set it from here or you know I can set from the property as well say add or you know I can simply browse the property text property of the button and I can set it from here as well this text I'll just remove so my UI is ready I have two text boxes a button and a label where I want to display the result or you can say text view I'll save this if we look into the source you can see that text box is nothing but edit text button is a button type and the label is nothing but text view now my UI is ready now I need to write the code related to this in my main activity so set content view main that's fine now you can see this line of code what we are doing here we have four controls on the screen we need to identify those controls we need to find those controls how do I find the control I use find view by ID it is similar to find control or you know get element by ID that we used to use in JavaScript and find control in our ASP.NET so here we have find view by ID I'll use this to find a control let me comment out these two lines of code and let me write and let me write my own code I'll say button 
button equals to find view by id of type button and what is the id the button is present in resource dot id dot now where is that id it is it is not available you can see that resource dot id the id of the button that we set is btn add it is not available why because if i want that id to be available in the resources i need to rebuild this rebuild succeeded now you can see there is a resource file here resource dot designer dot cs so i'll double click this now you should see a class called as id in that you should find ids that we have set button edit text num1 edit text num2 text result so using this i can identify the control so resource is the class you can see that resource is the class now in that you have a sub class that is nothing but id resource dot id dot whatever you want you can access so these are all constants so i can access them directly dot btn add button now on button click i want to perform some operation so i'll say button dot click plus equals to tab tab now this is nothing but your delegates and events concept so whenever i click it is going to call button underscore click event or you can method and here i am going to implement my code so my code is nothing but i need to find out both the text boxes and then get the text from that and convert it to integer then add them then find the result view or you can say text view result and display it on that label or you can say text view so i need to identify both the text boxes first edit text i'll say num1 equals to find view by id of edit text so this is a standard procedure or you can say process i'll say resource dot id dot edit text num1 copy this paste it here and paste it here i'll say num2 edit text num2 and result label or you can say result id dot text view result so in this way i got the references to all the controls that we have on the screen now int a equals to in dot parse num1 dot text i get the value from the first text box int b equals to in dot parse num2 dot text now i get the value from the second text box i'll say int c equals to a plus b finally i want to display this result on the label that is nothing but on text view result so I'll, that is nothing but result dot text equals to c dot to string and at the same time i want to display it on the alert message that is nothing but toast dot 
make text then i'll pass the current context object then the message result is plus c dot to string comma the duration dot long dot show that's it we are done we don't require this count anymore so we first found the button then on button click we are performing these operations we are finding out all the controls getting the value from both the text boxes performing operation then assigning it to the label and also displaying it in the alert let me save all let me rebuild this here we said edit text as it is not edit text it is text view so we forgot to update this now let me execute this so here we are ready with our app so i'll say 34 and 67 and i'll click add you see 101 and the result is 101 so that's it for this video thank you very much